Hey, what's up? This is Brian Pfeiffer, the owner of ExploringLasVegas.com. All right, so this video is going to be about after hours parties in Las Vegas. It's going to be my 2024 update. Um, I've actually had a few changes to the old video, uh, which I made in the early part of 20, 2023, but one of the after hours that we uh, were talking about that video has closed. So we have to uh, add a new one and take out an old one. So this video is gonna be all about the after hours parties in Las Vegas. Uh, there's several different options to do uh, when you wanna leave the nightclub and you wanna keep the party going. I'm gonna talk about all those options right here in this video. And I'm standing here guys in front of uh, Marquee Day and Nightclub. You can actually see it here in the background. That's up there in the corner. That's gonna be the big dome that's gonna be going over Marquee Nightclub. But uh, they actually have an after hours here on Saturday nights, it's fairly new and it's called the low key after hours, okay? It's gonna be a tech house after hours and you're gonna find most of the nights is gonna be uh, DJ Lima, he's a local DJ, he's really good, knows how to play the you know, play the tech house music and the kind of music that people won't like to hear at late night if you're into that kind of uh, scene. <laughs> and it's pretty good. I mean, you got the Tau Group, which is going to be uh, basically five nightclubs and then four pools, and then they have a lot of restaurants around as well. Uh, you got an army of people pushing this thing, okay? So, you know, Omnia, Hakkasan, Jewel, uh, Tau, and Tau Nightclub, and Tau, um, you know, and uh, Marquee Nightclub. And when they have an EDM DJ at Marquee, it's a nice transition just to walk upstairs to the boombox or the library. And and uh, you know, have a nice little after party. Uh, just so you guys know, Marquee Nightclub has you know the main nightclub, and then they have the salon, and then they have the uh, cloud, and that's kind of the main room, and then the outside part. But then upstairs, if you've never been up there, most people probably haven't. There's a room called the Boombox, which used to be the hip hop room. Uh, they don't really use it that much anymore, but they're using that for the after hours on busier nights, and then on not as busy nights, there's another room. Um, a couple, I think it's a couple more floors up, called the library. And the library actually is um, a smaller room, but it's you know a nice tight kind of rectangular room with some cool decor. And for a, you know maybe 100, 150 people, it's a pretty good party in there. Okay, so you have a couple different options on busy nights. Uh, they had Danny Teneglia. Last week, he's a big uh, tech house DJ from back in the day. One of the best sets of music I ever heard was at the uh, music conference back in like 2011 or 12 from Danny Teneglia. And he was here at the low key after hours and they did that in the boombox. So it was obviously a bigger night, um, you know, kind of like a holiday type of weekend. Uh, Life is Beautiful was in town, etc. cetera. And uh, you know, on a regular Saturday, they'll probably do it on you know in the low key after hours. But the good news is you got a huge amount of hosts pushing this thing, promoting it. And uh, you know, it's actually doing pretty good. It's, it's already been going now for close to a year. And uh, you know, that, that's pretty much your only really good option on the strip for tech house music after 2 a.m. Okay, if you're looking for hip hop um, on the strip, then your other uh, alternative to the you know tech house party is going to be the hip hop party. And that's going to be over at Dre's. Okay, one time Dre's was you know the place for tech house and hip hop. They had two different rooms. Uh, that's kind of gone away. They're really just doing one room these days. And if they do the two rooms, it's generally going to be like uh, reggaeton and uh, maybe a little bit of Latin in the other room, uh, but no tech house. Okay, so don't go to Dre's after hours anymore. Expecting tech house because you're not going to get it. It's going to be a hip hop party uh, in the main room and always. And then when the side room is open, usually it's going to be a hip hop or Latin or reggaeton uh, type of music, it's a little bit different vibe, different DJ, but not tech house. So that's your uh, other alternative for after hours on the strip. Now, if you're looking to go off the strip, there are um, a couple places to go. Uh, the main one is going to be Club Ego. That's going to be up off Sahara. That's going to be tech house. Um, the guys, uh, Sandro, my buddy over there, he's been bringing in some DJs once in a while. They had Technasia a couple weeks ago. It was pretty slammed. And uh, you know, you know, keep an eye out to my website below of uh, who's going to uh, going to be there coming up on the weekend. You're coming, uh, but they do bring in some talent, um, not big big name talent, but decent talent. You know, sometimes you'll see like a um, you know, Pablo Sabalas over there or something. You know, he's a really good DJ, and he's in town. He's playing at Ego. It's a good par good party. So uh, keep an eye out for that. That's going to be uh, probably like your number three choice for after hours, and then. Other than that, my buddy Brett Rubin, who was kind of running the uh, Terrace After Hours at the Hustler Club, that's closed. Uh, they had a nice six-year run there. Congrats to him on that. But uh, he's looking for kind of a new home for that After Hours. He did do kind of, try to do a couple pop-up parties on Fremont Street at that Zai rooftop, my buddy CJ's club, a smaller venue. I don't think it went over all that well, so I think he's still trying to find a home for that. So keep an eye out for uh, possibly a you know extension of the old uh, Hustler Terrace After Hours. That was a fun After Hours for a while. Kind of kind of ran its course, but uh, you know I think Brett's going to end up somewhere at some point and maybe it'll be another tech house after hours but then you always got the uh, kind of the number four option is going to be your strip clubs in Las Vegas and there's plenty of strip clubs to go to I, I think I work with like 15 different strip clubs they all stay open late several are 24 hours um, hustler clubs 24 hours peppermint hippos 24 hours uh, crazy horse threes 24 hours so you want to keep the party going uh, from Saturday night into Sunday all day you can okay that's that's totally hot an option here uh, places like Rhino and Sapphire are open to like you know six seven eight in the morning on Saturdays depending on how busy it is so 
you know, you always got those uh, those options for the strip clubs. So you can definitely, uh, you know, hit, hit me up and I'll get you a, a ride set up over there. The way strip clubs work is uh, we'll pick you up at your hotel or whatever hotel you're at and drive you over there in one of their vehicles. Okay, make sure you don't take a cab or a Lyft or an Uber to any strip club in Las Vegas because they're going to charge you like 50 bucks and that's going to go right back to the driver as a kickback and you don't get any drinks. Generally, with my deals, you get a couple of drinks, you get a ride there and entry for right around 40 bucks. So it's a way better deal. You're going to save a ton of money, especially if you've got a group of people that really adds up. And uh, we'll pick you up in one of our, you know, one of the strip club vehicles with a strip club logo on it. Okay. So those are your four options for after hours in Las Vegas. Um, that's that's really about it. If you guys have any questions or you want to set up an after hours party, um, even on the fly, I'm usually up on Saturday nights pretty late. You can always hit me up on my cell, 773-459-8133. That's my cell phone. Uh, we do have packages, obviously, with, you know, dinners, limos, etc. If you guys want to you know, set up your whole night, maybe do bottle service at a nightclub, strip club after or after hours party after, um, I'll be happy to set all that up for you, get it all prearranged so you guys have a nice tight schedule, know what you're going to do the entire night, and uh, it works out pretty well. We have a lot of dinners that have like an open, you know, all you can drink beers or drinks or whatever, all you can eat type stuff. So you can have a really good night, reasonable price if you put it all in one uh, nice big package. So I'm Brian Pfeiffer signing out here from uh, Marquee Day and Nightclub, the front of this place, and uh, I'm looking forward to working with you on your upcoming Vegas trip. Talk to me about After Hours in Las Vegas. Let's talk soon. Bye.